Yo, Big, you look like you borrowed that jacket from a velvet couch, man. Where the remote at? Funny, coming from a dude dressed like a backup dancer for his own memories. At least my hoodie ain't holding more secrets than your last buffet plate. <laughs> Artificial intelligence has majorly improved over the last five years or so. Take, for instance, the Will Smith spaghetti clip and how it looked grotesque. And in the space of a few short years, to the clip of the young lady walking. AI is being used and interwoven into the fabric of society on pretty much every level. We are getting all the goods and services without much effort. Whether you're a car manufacturer, IT engineer, or even a holiday maker, AI is everywhere and vastly improving at a rate that is concerning. AI, however, isn't just about smart searches and generative intelligence. It's being elevated and enhanced to levels that we could only dream of, or something movie makers would construct. Components of AI is improving drastically every year. Look at the video of Tupac and Biggie, and how they're interacting with each other. Movements within a scene, and accuracy of output. It looks real and believable, which puts a huge amount of stock in OpenAI's Sora engine, for example. This is amazing and concerning at the same time. So how far can this really go? Jeffrey Hinton, the godfather of AI, has expressed concerns about AI accelerating out of control and why governments and companies cannot slow it down. Concerns over AI accelerating at an unsustainable speed and developing a consciousness has always been a concern since the possibility of AI. For example, an AI model was willing to blackmail an employee just to avoid shutting down. No one told the AI model to do this. However, with the help of AI, humanoids are in the process of mass distribution for commercial use. As cool as it seems, this will have a detrimental effect to humans physically and mentally. Imagine a humanoid able to pretty much do everything a human could, from mowing the lawn, grocery shopping, to cooking. A human's value and self-worth will be questioned, and humans will physically wither away or become very weak. The predominant issue regarding AI development is that countries and governments will not slow down AI capabilities. For example, if the US slows down its AI development and China, China. doesn't, China, China will automatically have an advantage over the rest of the world. Some say China, China already has in this field. Therefore, the knock-on effect is that countries with super AI development capabilities will continue to develop AI at an astounding rate to compete with one another, which will have dire consequences for the human race. Comment your thoughts below if you've encountered AI in your field of work and how it affects you. Jeffrey Hinton argues why AI is or soon will be superior to human intelligence. Because AI is digital, you can, for example, simulate a neural network on one piece of hardware and you can simulate the exact same neural network in another piece of hardware. So you can create clones for the same intelligence and each of these neural networks can do various number of jobs simultaneously whilst also syncing with each other and learning about each other's experience, also known as connection strengths. These neural networks or AI can do this using a trillion bits per second on the flip side, when two humans are transferring information and data, we're limited to the amount of information in a sentence. It's very little information. It roughly amounts to 10 bits per second. So already, they're a billion times better at transferring information than us. Also, no two humans on this planet are the same. Even if they're identical twins, we all have different neuron capabilities. So when you die, you take all of your knowledge and experiences with you. When a digital intelligence dies or its hardware is destroyed, it can still survive in another digital network. So long as its connection strengths are stored, the instructions are the same as its original, therefore a recreation of this digital intelligence is possible. They're basically immortal. Humans have solved the questions of immortality, but it's only for digital objects. Jobs like being a paralegal, operational analyst and creative arts won't be needed for very long according to Jeffrey Hinton. In a society which shared out things fairly, if you get a big increase in productivity, everybody should be better off. However, if you replace people's jobs with AI, then the people who get replaced will be worse off, and the companies that supply AI will be much better off, which will increase the gap between the rich and the poor, which will destabilize society, 
And we know that the gap between the rich and poor shows how nice a society is. If the gap is large, then society in general is much more unhappy and nasty. If the gap is closer, then it's a lot nicer. Jobs such as AI engineers, plumbers and labourers, at least for now, will be needed. But governments and companies won't know what to do when mass jobs are laid off for the profit of the elite few. One solution could be universal basic income, which will only stop people starving in many ways. But this is not the best overall solution, but a band-aid for the short term. For a lot of people, a job is tied to their dignity. Who you think you are is almost intrinsically tied to your work and what value that brings to your personal self and society. If this goes, then negative consequences will follow. Speaking of self-worth, subscribe to my channel as I desperately need your attention. Like and comment if you have any concerns or hope for AI. ChatGPT originally wasn't even connected to the internet. ChatGPT now connects to the internet, provides outputs of different analogies that even humans can't comprehend. The creative arts are especially at risk of this as creating different analogies is what creative arts is all about. Therefore, AI will be more creative. Look at Tilly Norwood, the AI actress created by Eileen van der Velden. Hollywood is in an uproar over the concerns Tilly will replace talented actresses, which could obviously affect real jobs and true performing arts. Although some actresses need replacing, in my opinion. On the other hand, healthcare will be a major beneficiary. If AI can make a doctor's job five times more efficient, then patients will be five times better off for the same price that they're paying. There's almost no limit as to how much healthcare people will absorb. Therefore, AI will be needed here and effective most. Much like how the Industrial Revolution replaced muscle, the AI revolution will replace intelligent. The question is, how soon will we be replaced and what will remain? As always, I thank you for watching this far. Comment below if you enjoyed what you saw and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one. China. I love them. China. 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 China.